Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Alex with HD Alex Films, and today I'm bringing you guys the iPad Air Smart Case Review, and if it's really worth the 80 bucks that you guys are going to spend on getting one of these. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So basically what I have brought you today is the iPad Air Smart Case in Product Red, which actually comes in a variety of colors, and the unboxing slash review of the iPad Air, and is it really worth the 80 bucks that you guys are going to dish out on this just for a leather case? Now just to note, they only make this in leather, and in only 5 different colors so just to be aware there is no polyurethane but Apple has invented this smart your uh, smart uh, activation method basically for opening the thing all you do is just pop the little tab and it gives you some directions inside the box now the one I have here is the product red and the product red pricing does not change so it is still the same pricing although it comes in a few different colors such as yellow pinkish gray baby blue uh, beige and black and the product red which is the one I have here in the video with me today um, I do have the iPad Air currently you're not in it but if you take a quick look here it does feature the lightning port cut out for the iPad Air so it is a clear cut and it does uh, feature the capabilities of having the lightning to 30 pin connector so if we take a quick look here, uh, it is made of microfiber cloth inside and it does feature iPad a smart case inside of it. It does not say iPad Air, so it, I don't know if it can fit a new iPad in there. But if you notice up at the top, it does have a nice and smooth plastic for the cellular model of the iPad Air. So instead of having just the Wi-Fi model, which is the one I have here today with me, um, we do have the cellular version which can support the little plastic up top. On the back, it does uh, show the sort of impressed Apple logo on the back gives it a nice professional look right there so it does make it look super good in uh, if it has the cutout for the 5 megapixel eyesight camera as well as the back microphone if we take a look at the top it has the microphone as well as a 3.5 millimeter headset jack cut out up at the top we also have on the side our volume up and volume down and our lock orientation or portrait switch uh, depending on how you have that configured on the bottom we do have our speaker grill cutouts as well as a lightning connector just like we mentioned before so that it does give it a clear crisp but cutout if you notice there is actually a hinge right there which allows it to be put in different um, maneuvers be basically positioned in different ways I'll show you so let's go ahead and take the iPad Air and place it inside the smart case to give it a nice clean look so basically the way it goes in it's simple and very easy and it's a tight fit so it gives it a great fit all you do is take the iPad Air and just snap it in the corners just push down and boom it's locked no need to tell no need to tighten anything that's all you do is slide to unlock and it's ready to go um, I really like the way it looks. It gives it a nice professional look and makes it just feel very uh, sturdy in the iPad. I have, do not want to do a drop test on this because it is 80 bucks just for a case. Although you can find multiple cases that are much cheaper. And as you see right there, there is a very nice cutout for the iPad Air as well as on the sides. And that's uh, pretty much it for the case review. So let's go ahead and show you guys the positions this can be positioned. The first position, of course, just the standard position uh, is basically just putting it like this so you can have it just to type on stuff although I do not recommend having it like this to type because it does not very comfortable and does not very do, does not do a very good job at um, just having an angle it just doesn't look good and reflects off of everything in the room if in another position you can have it is to basically flip it upside down you have a nice screen to watch movies on so it is a very very cool thing although this is not a very good thing either because it is not very sturdy in the position so it will fall over if you do push a little too hard just I will show you later but as you see and notice it does will go back and forth so it is not a very good thing like if I show you guys right now this will wiggle back and forth a lot when I barely push on it so you might want to hold it with two hands although that does look a little weird when you're doing it so just a heads up it is really worth the 80 bucks if you're one of those people who really likes the luxury and feel of this case in leather but if you're looking for something cheaper and still in leather I recommend you search online because I found one for 55 bucks on Amazon and purchased that as well anyways guys thanks for watching this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys like this Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Bye, guys. Until next time.